which, speaking of uh, huge corporations who don't need more money, <laughs> Facebook back crypto DM updates launch plan will take a phased approach. And um, I know as we go through this, you probably think to yourself, who cares about Facebook and their crypto project? Because really, if you're going to talk about uh, the most centralized one, I mean, we'll take a look. IBM is probably number one, and maybe this could probably be number two. So the Facebook-backed crypto DM, firmly called Libra, is taking a phased approach to launch co-creator and chief economist of DM, uh, Christian Catalini. The aim is to launch a pilot with a single stable coin pegged to the US dollar this year. This pilot will be small in scale and will largely focus on transactions between individual consumers. Well, how convenient. DM is now in talks with Swiss financial regulators to obtain a payment license. A big step of our dialogue with regulators has been a phased approach to launch. We're going to be phasing in different functionalities and use cases and blah, blah, blah. Okay. Here's the big thing. Listen to this. All members will have to undergo extensive KYC. Know your customer. Probably AML too. Once we get the green light from the regulators, we will start experimenting with a small number of users with a small number of players. And here's the thing. If you were around back in the day, 2018, 2019, um, Facebook came out and they said, we're going to do our own blockchain, our own cryptocurrency digital asset. It's going to be called Libra and it's going to be awesome. And all these different corporations were lined up to get in line and go, you know what, Facebook, we are right behind you. We would love to be a part of this as you usher in this new world order uh, to make payments available to the global community. And the US government said, take a seat, grab some bench because you're not going to go anywhere. We're not going to allow you to do this global infrastructure for payment system. That's our job. And that's pretty much what happened. They pretty much slapped them down and said, you're not going to do it. And before you know it, all these entities, all these corporations said, you know what, we're going to just sidestep and uh, you know exit stage left. And that's exactly what happened. So they're rebranding it. They're going to do this whole thing with Facebook and go, you know what, we want to do payments uh, between all of our users. And we take a look at let me show you something. Let me show you something. If you take a look at where Facebook is located and the kind of uh, penetration it has globally, well, first of all, uh, this, I couldn't really find it for Facebook itself, but it's pretty global, except for China and some other places. They're not going to allow that thing, right? But remember, Facebook just isn't Facebook. It is Facebook, it is Instagram, it is WhatsApp and whatever else they bought and I can't keep track of. So they're pretty darn huge. So if they're going to do this DM project, this could be on all the different platforms. But here's the question. And the question is this. Do we really need a global payment system in a centralized manner by an entity that we can't even trust with our private information because they have no idea how to keep things safe. So you're telling me the same people that leaked all my information online uh, for all the Facebook things and all the different things that they've done, I'm gonna trust them with my financial, uh, my financial information? Are you out of your mind? So again, I don't see a point for this. I don't see why I would trust them to do anything with anything with uh, my information. And the big question is, even if I wanted, if, if I'm in America and I wanted to pay somebody in, Nigeria or something like that. And I want to do a, a, a quick transaction. Could they do that? Could they make it from the US dollar to whatever the fiat is over there in Nigeria? And could they make this actually happen on a low cost basis and actually do it? Well, maybe, but there's going to be limitations. I can tell you like what, just like that with like a Venmo, with, with a Zelle, other different types of payment plans or payments uh, applications. There's only so much you actually send and actually do. And here's another thing. If they're going to have KYC for everybody, well, guess what? In a lot of places in Sub-Saharan Africa, you can't be identified because there is no way to do that. And that's why there's a huge amount of people who are unserved and unbanked. So again, I do not see the whole point of this. Let me know in the comments section what you think potentially be a, I don't know, global payment system. We'll see. We'll see what you have with that. And that's all I have to say on this, this one. Let's move on to a couple more lines.